Hi everybody, I'm Hannah and this Hi. is Megan and this is the fabulous Dr. Susan Rao and we are so excited to share about chiropractic care with you today and what is chiropractic care, what it's about and what makes Dr. Rao family practice stand out amongst the rest and be extra special. So thank you so much for being here with us today. You guys, I'm so happy you're here. I'm happy you're in our, our chiropractic office, kind of a very big feeling of healing right, is in this practice, so yes. I love that you guys are here and that we're getting to do this for you guys. Yes, we are awesome, so let's let's jump right in. Tell us, you have such a fascinating background, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna add uh, her awesome bio to our description in the yeah, video, but um, yeah. can you tell us a little bit about your background for those that to. don't want to read? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, which I totally relate to that too sometimes. <laughs> so I am Indian, so with that, being raised by two immigrant parents was a phenomenal life experience as a child because it's taught me certain things to do throughout my life, right? And it really shaped who I am. So some of those concepts were working hard, so having a very strong and conscious work ethic, really being intentional about living a life of very high integrity. Mm -hmm. And the biggest piece of it was a concept called SEWA. So it's a mm -hmm. word, S-E-W-A. So it's in our language, in our Indian language, it is the concept of selfless service. Mm -hmm. So helping others in any way you can um, to leave the world a better place than you found it type of idea, right? Yeah. Which is, and it's been amazing and I'm so blessed because I have found in what I do through chiropractic, literally that, exactly that. So I'm so blessed um, to kind of be able to do that and be able to do things like this and teach people about living a healthier, happier life, living a life with the truth and nice potential. So when I was in high school, so growing up, it was always kind of a, an awareness and consciousness to me. I, was, I wanted to do something that changes the world, was my concept when I was little. So when I was in high school, came across a quote, and it was one of those moments that I read this quote, and it blew me away because it literally was a concept from my brain. I just didn't know how to put the words together. Mm -hmm. And I actually printed it out so I could read it to you oh, guys good. so I didn't miss any wow. words or important ideas about it. So it is uh, a quote from a psychologist named Dr. Luscalja. It says, it's not enough to have lived. We should be determined to live for something. May I suggest that it be creating joy for others, sharing what we have for the betterment of mankind, and bringing hope to the lost and love to the lonely. Mm -hmm. So it resonates with me as strongly, if not more, from when I, the first time I read it to, to now, right? Mm -hmm. And so then in turn, to be able to live a life that way to where what you do in the world, what you bring to the world and your community especially, and to the families in your community, mm -hmm. to be able to live that and serve others to live their healthiest life, um, it's very lucky. Uh, that, I feel very, that's amazing. I feel very honored for it. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. and obviously that made such an impact on you because you've carried that quote with you since yes. high school. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Amazing. And it's really cool because so my husband, who's yeah, the I was other, gonna go yes, right off the cuff yes. and say, okay, let's bring in. Absolutely. So my husband and I practice together in the office. I'm both doctors of chiropractic, and we actually met and started dating when we were 16. Oh. So he as well is very heart driven. We both are very heart driven people, and so in turn to be able to have a career and the impact in our community that is very heart driven to serve others has been amazing. And then in turn, be able to hopefully teach our kids the things that are important are around that concept. Okay, mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. One of the things that sparked, you were out because it was in the middle of COVID, so you were at home with the kids doing homeschool yes. for a short bit. And Dr. Rao and I were talking about uh, me being excited about wanting to interview you guys for this show that I was going to have someday. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and we were talking about um, businesses that have, and entrepreneurs that have that sense of mindfulness around what they mm. do and intention. Mm -hmm. And, and his, um, his words around that were just so beautiful because he talked about how you all, before every adjustment, set an intention yes. for healing for this person. And they don't know that. Right. Like they're coming in for an adjustment and, and I can't wait for you to explain what that is for yeah. those that don't know. I've been yeah. taking, uh, I've been having adjustments since I was 12, so it's, Amazing. it's no new language yeah. for me, but some people may never have gone to a chiropractor, chiropractor before. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just love that he, that you, 
that he told me that you do that. Um, we do. Set the intention for healing and wellness for Very everybody. much, because what we're working with, and you know, I'll kind of go into that deeper in a minute, is the nervous system, which is literally the master system of the body. And so when we are going to give an adjustment, there has to be that level of healing from us, pure, clear hearts, to be able to adjust someone. So they may be coming in for a back pain or a specific symptom, but we know the true effect of the adjustment is affecting the entire mm-hmm. body. So we're very, take. we take a moment, we often breathe in, breathe out as the patient is as well, to be able to have that healing space, you know? Yeah, wonderful. And it's been really neat because, so with that, when the pandemic hit, I had to stay home and transfer my patients to my dad, to my husband. So it's been really cool because you were my patient initially and then you've been able to be his patient too. So it's, it's yeah. a cool thing, I love that. Yeah, I just um, love you both. We adore you. We adore yeah. you. Um, so we have so many good questions, but let's, let's just, Let's go basic and talk about what is chiropractic care. I mean, you mentioned it yeah. a lot just now, but let us know how, how that works with the yeah. body and the nervous system. And um, is it scary for those that are afraid of yeah. going to a chiropractor? Yeah, um, that's an awesome question. So something that makes <clears throat> chiropractic unique, and especially there's a few things that make our practice unique specifically. So between the two of us, uh, we have over 30, 31 years of clinical um, experience mm-hmm. so and it is very much a labor of love right so we do all we can and are very conscious to help the patient in any way if we have a patient and we realize you know what this isn't a chiropractic case we with full humility make sure to refer them to the right network of people to take care of them so it's a real concept of what is the best for the patient mm-hmm. um, another thing that's unique about our practice is I'm Spanish speaking so wow. I used to, I, we used to live in Spain for a while and I got to see patients there and everything. So that's been a beautiful thing too because to make sure, especially Spanish speaking patient, oftentimes with your doctor you want to be able to express everything mm-hmm. you need to express and feel safe in that space. So I'm Spanish speaking as well as one of our CAs is too. We do chiropractic neurology which is working with brain balancing. <clears throat> so chiropractic, the big concept of chiropractic is People certainly come in because certain pains, and that's what they know about chiropractic, that we're naturally gonna be able to take care of that in a very natural way. The big concept of chiropractic, which I absolutely adore, because it's just physiologically, anatomically based, is we are working with the nervous system. So I actually have a chart here, and I think you guys may be. I'm gonna put it in the video. And I know you can't see it here, but in the video you're gonna gonna get it. But what the the concept is, literally our brain up here, which is the computer of the body, and the nerves that go down your spine, then in turn those peripheral nerves, it's called, go to 100% of your body. So whether it's your back muscles, whether it's your heart, your lungs, your pancreas, um, your glands, every cell is connected to from the brain to the body through the nervous system. So if there is a kink in that process, if there's an interference of that flow from brain to body or body to brain, that's when we start seeing symptoms, whether it's pains, issues like that, or whether it's things like a dis hyphen ease in the body system, which could potentially turn into a disease. So things that we're able to help that a lot of people don't realize, things like constipation, things like um, balance issues, um, menstrual pain, all kinds of things that are health related, your body seems to be breaking down or not functioning at 100%. What we do chiropractically is we figure out where in the nervous system there is an issue, what's the root cause of the problem. When we're able to figure out the root cause of the problem, then the symptoms often dissipate. Yeah. Instead of just putting a band-aid on it. Instead of putting a band-aid on it with potential side effects, right? Yeah. And there's certainly a a place for all things healing in the world, right? There's a place for medication, there's a place for surgery. It doesn't necessarily have to be the first thing we go to because there are side effects of it, and that's the concern, right? Right. So chiropractic, the real true concept of chiropractic is our bodies, our human bodies, are self-healing organisms. We have an innate intelligence that beats our heart, that has our lungs work, that if I were to cut my hand, I don't necessarily have to put ointment in a band-aid for it to heal. It's a great thing to put band-aids and ointments, but it will heal on its own without me doing anything because your innate intelligence will heal your body. So chiropractically, what we're doing is we're figuring out where there is a 
disconnect in that area, and that's often where there's a misalignment of a joint, which is then putting pressure on the nerve next to it. And if that nerve goes to your low back, you may have low back pain, but if that nerve goes to your uterus, your organs, your certain area, your, your colon, it may lead to constipation. It may, so all these symptoms are often because there's a misalignment in that area of the nervous system, so the flow can't go, the information from the brain to the body. Mm -hmm. Right, I love that because I mean, and I've been having chiropractic care since I was 12, but I'll still, oh, you know, there's something wrong with my back and I'm sitting there like trying to massage it out and finally came in to see Dr. Rao, oh, it's been, it's been three weeks, I haven't been in or a month yeah. and he's like, oh yeah, I think, I think a little rib's out of place and yeah. one tiny adjustment and it's gone. Um, the pain is gone because the yeah. pain was excruciating. I couldn't even sit up in a chair. Yeah. Um, or I'll say, oh, I have, uh, my digestion has been off today. Oh, okay, let me do a little something for that. Absolutely, and that's the coolest part of it is that a lot of people don't know that piece of the puzzle, right? Yeah. So a lot of people are aware of the, us helping the back pain, the muscle stuff, but then in turn, digestion will become function better. Your body becomes balanced from all the systems, from the nerve system, the glandular system, the illumination system, mm -hmm. the circulatory system. All these symptoms have to be balanced for us to live the healthiest life. Right. When there's disconnects in that is when we start having these symptoms. Because we deal with a lot of stressors in life, right? Mm -hmm. It is a given that we're gonna have three big type of stressors, whether it's chemical stressors, the foods and things that we eat, or the pollution that, that we can't help but breathe in and, mm -hmm. and wherever we live. Um, physical stressors, which could be uh, our kiddos on the phones all the time, mm -hmm. right. their cervicals, or um, work positioning computer, or playing soccer after not playing soccer for three, whatever it is, those are physical stressors that can mm -hmm. affect alignments of joints. Um, so we have chemical, physical, and then we have emotional. And emotional stress, it's heavy, mm -hmm. and it can affect so many things from all, whether it's the fear out in the world right now, whether it's stress from just life, being a parent, work, all this stuff. Yeah. Our body, our human body, physiologically is meant to be able to handle stress. What happens is when that stress overloads, overloads, mm -hmm. overloads, and our body isn't in the highest function of nervous system, of immune system, then all those stressors, our body starts breaking down. We start getting symptoms, we start having issues, right? So the real big concept and why a lot of people come in even for wellness. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of patients that come in and are like, Dr. Out, I don't have any pain, I just want you to check my spine. Or who bring in children, I, they don't, they're not showing any pains or issues, I just want you to check their spine. Because they know the concept of, if we ensure the brain is talking to the body at 100%, we know, especially with kiddos, that they are gonna develop in their childhood as a healthier child, which in turn healthier adolescent, healthier adult, right? Yeah, the cool. very first effect of any adjustment is a strong boost of your immune system, your T cells, your everything. So, for a great example of that is there was a mom last week who's, who um, their entire family comes in to get adjusted, which we, we have so many families like that. And it's, yeah. it's the biggest honor for us because they get this is a piece of my healthy lifestyle from the things I eat, from the way I move adjustments are a piece of that, right? So a lot of families come in weekly, every two weeks, once a month, mom, dad, three kids, whatever it is, to come get adjusted. This mom last week called and said, hey, my daughter has tonsillitis. She's not contagious or anything, but I know her immune system isn't rocking and rolling like it should. Can I come get her adjusted? Please do, because we know her body will just function better after that. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's really great. So it's awesome. Yeah. So that's the piece a lot of people don't know how much we can help babies and, and children in so many different ways. So the biggest honor is when a parent gets that concept of we have to make sure our nervous system is working with us and that's what our chiropractor does. And our chiropractor is so gentle that we feel safe them treating our patients, right, our babies. So there have been scenarios in these, I've practiced for seven years, 12 years in this practice, um, but in Spain before that, in Dallas before that, and the biggest honor, we've had this multiple times, that moms and dads on the way home from the hospital after giving birth or on the way home from the birthing center have literally come and said, Dr. Rao, can you check my baby's spine? That's amazing. And that even telling you that gives me chills yeah. because it is 
the biggest honor because we know from the get-go, from the beginning of this child's life, there is a higher level of health, you know? Right. And, so there's, uh, and I love, we talked about this when, when we were both yoga teachers and yeah. when somebody says, oh, I, I tried a yoga class and I don't like it. And I would say, mm -hmm. well, try another one because yoga classes, there's so many styles out there and the yes. teachers are going to, um, they're going to, to absorb the information that they've learned and then they're going to deliver it in their own unique way. It's gonna be as individualized as the person is teaching it. Right. So I feel like that's very similar with chiropractic care. So you were mentioning a lot of different types of chiropractic care and different approaches and yours, and I hate, now this is the third time I'm bringing this up about being 12, but I've seen a lot of- I love that, no, I love that, I love so, that story. Yeah. Um, I've, I've seen so many and I've never gone to any chiropractors as gentle mm -hmm. as, as, you're, as you are. Yeah. And and so effective. Yes. And I feel so good and, and so safe. And I always did feel safe with chiropractors. Mm -hmm. I, I felt the security in their hands. And even when it was a little bit more of an aggressive of an adjustment, mm -hmm. I felt 100% confident. And it might just be because that's how I was raised. Mm -hmm. But um, but I know that that could be something that scares others off. Yes. Um, the possibility of an injury or something. But right. I would love for you to speak about the, the gentleness and how you you approach making those adjustments. Yeah, absolutely, it's a great question because it is a barrier, an understandable barrier for a lot of people um, because it's something new, different, because a lot of people watch Kung Fu movies growing up. Right, Well, and Just a lot of times of, you hear, like like for me, when anyone speaks about chiropractic or, or like getting an adjustment, they'll be like, I was in so much pain because I had an adjustment yesterday. Like, oh, interesting, yeah. Stuff like that is usually what I hear and in my okay. head, like that seems counterproductive. Sure. So maybe you can help clear that up. Absolutely. There's a lot of pieces of that puzzle. So there's different techniques. The technique we use in our, in our practice, and this is after practicing for 17 years, learning so many different techniques, and truly seeing the effectiveness of being very gentle and how it's a spinal stimulation technique. So it's very effective in making these changes of structure. When um, So with that being said, that's one reason why it's so many families kiddos, moms are very comfortable with their babies being brought to get adjusted and things like that. It is so gentle, but again, so effective, mm -hmm. right? With, um, there are examples of people who get adjusted who've never been adjusted and have a lot of soreness. So then one, it could be technique, but two, it could be a couple different things. So when someone, for example, has some soreness after an adjustment, there's a couple things we're doing when we're adjusting we're literally working against muscle memory. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, if a, a joint is out of place, it has been that way for months, years, maybe longer, right? Right. So the muscles think that that misalignment is the normal mm -hmm. place to be. Yeah. Just like if someone does a yoga class, has never done one, or goes to work out, you're gonna have muscle soreness. Right. And that's because we're, we're changing something, right? So we're working with retraining the muscle memory so some people have soreness with that. Um, also, literally remodeling the joints, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's not an often thing that we hear in our office, as far as someone saying after that first adjustment or after any adjustment, how oh, it's really sore, it can happen, and then we direct people to really ice it, reduce that inflammation, things like that. Right, yeah. right, that There's sense. all kinds of techniques for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And so with me being a chiropractic virgin, <laughs> So I wanted to pose a question that I would think is a common scenario yeah. of I come in, yeah. my good friend told me I have to come see you because you're an amazing chiropractor, but I've never, you know, been adjusted before. Right. So what can I expect? Because there is a little bit of fear um, for me personally sure. doing something that I've never done before. So yes. what could you tell me and our audience about what to expect on that initial visit? Right. That's a great question. So <clears throat> whenever someone comes in initially, we have the normal like logistical stuff like paperwork and things like that. A very important thing that we do in that very first appointment is a consultation, which is free of charge, because we want to, one, connect to the patient mm -hmm. and make sure we're the ones who are going to be able to help you, right? right? And in that moment, we make sure if anybody has any apprehensions, this is a very ego-less space. Madan, Dr. Madan and I, as you know, we are 
not driven by ego at all. So if someone says, you know what, I've heard these stories about chiropractic, it doesn't offend me because I know it's coming from, well, this is what my concern is, are you the right person? Mm -hmm. So we will address those concerns and, um, and be able to explain this is how we adjust. It's very gentle from kiddos to the elderly. It's an extremely gentle technique. So consultation is the first big key you know, whenever we come in, make sure that's the right fit for both of us, that we're gonna be the providers to help you. And if, if we see that there is a chiropractic case in that scenario that we're gonna be able to help, we'll do the exam. We, in our office, have <coughs> our exam room where we do our chiropractic, orthopedic, and, and um, neuro, neurological exam in that first day, as well as we have a digital x-ray back there. Um, specifically, we chose digital x-ray because it's, green if you want to think of it that way, meaning less radiation to the patient, and immediately we can send those images to our computer. Wow. So even before doing the exam, we can check and make sure there's no fractures, there's no scary issues going on mm -hmm. before we do the exam. Um, and then we do the exam, and all while explaining it to the patient, making sure they feel safe, because as human beings, our nervous system our brain, our lives, we want to feel safe and we should feel safe in whatever scenario, whether we're a child or, or an adult. So chiropractically, how that ties in is this is a very conscious space of healing. We're very, from literally from the paint colors we chose to the sounds that we have to the music, it is a place of healing. And being from the chiropractic neurology standpoint, our brain, when we are in that safe space, that parasympathetic nervous system, the rest digest space, we, our chemicals that our brain produces, our neurotransmitters, it can completely shift how we heal, right? Right. So we're very, very conscious of, as soon as you come in, it's a healing space, even before we adjust you or anything or do the exam. So if someone comes in with a, an apprehension, we get it, we understand where it's coming from, mm -hmm. and we hear you. Yeah. Type of thing. Especially with kids, right? Because a lot of people, if they don't know what chiropractic is and they think it's going to be painful or, or hurt or potentially harm, we want to explain this is what we do. We have a chiropractic kid, Cairo Kids board up here to show all the kiddos that we're able to help. Um, so for so many different things, like from little babies with colic, from um, babies who can't nurse because they can't turn their head. We have a lot of pediatricians we're really lucky to work with in the area who constantly are sending us patients and newborns to get adjusted because literally can't turn their head a certain way or can't nurse or um, are having issues thriving. Mm -hmm. And after getting adjusted, their system starts working, they're able to nurse, or wow. ear infections for babies, mm -hmm. bed waiting for kiddos, all these things, um, acid reflux, all that stuff that potentially someone may say, well, maybe I have to do a medication, but if there's another way, a natural way that's not gonna have a side effect, mm -hmm. we should try it. Yeah, right? it's so great. That's yeah. Incredible. Paisley had her first appointment just I last love week, it. and she was very scared, but sure. she dances all the time. She does all this acrobatic stuff, yeah. and and she's been complaining of some back pain, yeah. and, and uh, Dr. Madan was just amazing with her, wow. and she felt she just had fun she had fun with it it wasn't scary at all i love it and, and that's what we hear a lot of times and you know for for little kids when they come out especially when we're adjusting them i explain to them about the nervous system in a very concept that they can understand because if our kids and i'm a mom so i almost relate everything not only as a doctor of chiropractic but as a mama mm -hmm. i want our kids to understand our health is our responsibility mm -hmm. we have a hand in it right mm -hmm. And so when I'm adjusting the kids, I explain <clears throat> about the nervous system and how literally our brain and our spine is the power line of our body, right? So when I adjust the kiddos, I'm like, your power's turned on. Like you are super power now, right? Like supercharged. Supercharged, <laughs> and kids love it, and then they get a sticker on the way out, so yeah. they, they love it, the little kids. Yeah. But these are all the things that we can teach our kids, and this is very chiropractic concepts. Think well, eat well, move well. Those three things. If we can consciously do those things from think well being how, and we from a chiropractic neurology and chiropractic point, we see think well is not just about how it feels, but we know the neurotransmitters that are being developed and things like this mm -hmm. from the way we think, right? So teaching our kids 
<clears throat> every feeling is okay, from the scary feelings to the angry feelings to the happy feelings, they're all okay. But don't dwell in the negative feelings, right? Mm -hmm. We know the neurotransmitters that are from affecting our dopamine, serotonin, all this stuff, okay? And then, so think well, having that optimism as much as we can in, in our world, right? right? Eat well, meaning literally what we, the chemicals and things that we put into our body, the foods that we put into our body are then in turn affecting our nervous system, then in turn affecting our health, right? Mm -hmm. And then move well, right? Movement is life. And that's key with the adjustments too, because the movement of your joints, if there's a joint that is misaligned, it becomes hypomobile, meaning it won't move well, and in turn, the ones above and below won't move well. They won't move normally. Mm -hmm. It affects the nerves next to it, which that nerve could be going to my heart. That nerve could be going to my liver. It could be going to whatever part of my body. Right. right? So that's how it, so it just all ties in together. Yeah. And it, for sports especially, right? Yeah. It's huge because these amazing bodies we have are literally like a machine, right. right? So we're lucky to be able to adjust not only the spine, but extremities too. So whether it's someone who's very active in sports or tennis or whatever it is, um, we want to make sure every joint, my foot, but, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that that's functioning well. So we are able to, because you can think in the body, any joint of the body, we're able to adjust, right? Because that's where the nervous the nervous system goes to every part of your body. Right. Yeah. It's been making a huge. I've had um, extensor tendonitis in my foot, yeah. and it's been really painful since February. Yeah. And I've never had an injury like this before, and I do not like it. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't like limitations. Yeah, I couldn't believe when Hannah told me that because um, I remember you made the appointment to see the podiatrist. Yes, I canceled my appointment with the podiatrist. Yeah, after the Dr. Madame. She was able to come here. Yeah. Yeah. Get chiropractic care. Well, and it's why so many athletes, like any <clears throat> NFL team, any um, major athlete, has a chiropractor on their team because it's not, and it's not a matter of just an adjustment when they have an injury in the game, mm -hmm. but it's literally the ongoing prevention because mm -hmm. what is it, an ounce of prevention is worth a, a, like a pound of gold or whatever the yeah. concept is. Yeah. Because if we can prevent these issues, that's another big piece of the chiropractic puzzle, right? If we can ensure, again, that the brain is giving all the information to the bodies, not just as a child are you healthy, but as an adult, yeah, or especially as, as a geriatric um, mm -hmm. demographic, mm -hmm. we're super honored, especially to take care of our geriatric patients mm -hmm. because they often have been a, through a lifetime of yeah. discomfort, pain, maybe have a bag full of medications that are having all these contraindications within their body. Mm -hmm. um, with their, with them especially, there's such an importance on balance mm -hmm. because then we know with right. the older population, if they're is a fall, if there's a hip break, it can lead to all these other issues, right? Mm -hmm. So chiropractic is huge in working on, you know, with older people, their balance, keeping them out of a nursing home if that's a potential. Mm -hmm. right. um, all these pieces of the puzzle, oftentimes we may be the only person I see that day. Mm -hmm. yeah. So to come to a place of healing and a place that they feel heard, loved, safe, mm -hmm. it's it's very important for us. Being Indian, it's yeah. it's one of it's a piece of a, our culture that mm -hmm. we honor and love and take care of our elderly, right? And so for us especially, it's so important it's that we so take care of them. Yeah. yeah. Well, these my big golden questions. I think you already answered right away. Just in time. <laughs> it's right. like, what is your big why, yes. and like, um, how do you hope to change the world and uplift humanity with your work? So let's close out with that. I mean, you kind yes. of said it, but just I wrap it up. It. How do you hope to change the world and uplift humanity through your work? Yes. Well, just be here to again leave the world a better place, right? And so with chiropractic, especially, and especially in our office, we are very open to all patients. We accept insurance. We um, work with people a lot of times. Mm -hmm. If there's a financial barrier for in our office, it's very much your health is more important than your pocketbook. We will make it work. We will do whatever we need to help you, mm -hmm. right? So literally being here as someone who can, even if it's the first time someone hearing about chiropractic, like at a health talk and my passion comes out because you almost feel, when you truly understand what chiropractic is, when I graduated from chiropractic school, like literally wanted to stand on the rooftops and be like, 
we can help you world, you know? <laughs> we can make this world a better place by literally our bodies functioning better, feeling better, our mind being set correctly because your nervous system is working the way it needs to. So from people who are in major pain and that is such a burden in your life, whether you can't pick up your kiddo, you can't sit at work for hours mm -hmm. or you can't enjoy life like you want well, to. you're grumpy when you're uncomfortable. Yes. And, and it's understandable, yeah, right? And but, so, but you're putting that energy into your, you're getting used to that feeling of being grumpy and you're completely, you know, it becomes a habit. And it becomes a shift of your quality of life. Yeah. Right? So yeah. if we, even for, so patients that come in with pain, that's huge to be able to be someone who can help them live a happier, healthier life. Because mm -hmm. not only does it affect them in their moment at work, but then it in turn affects their coworkers, it affects their babies, affects their spouses, affects their, sure. and their own experience of life, right? Yeah. So for those people especially, coming in with pain, we love being the people who can be here and be a refuge for them, um, a safe space for them, right? Yeah. A healing space. So great. And then for people who understand the concept of, I have to choose what I do in life, and I have the ability to dictate how my health goes, right? Years ago, say 10, 15, 20 years ago, that wasn't a real concept. Mm -hmm. It was like, well, luck of the draw. If I, if I end up with this disease, luck yeah. of the draw. Now we understand, and we as parents and, and children as well, we get to teach our kiddos how to live healthier choices. Mm -hmm. They, in turn, get to teach that to their kids. It is like this amazing legacy we leave in the mm -hmm. world yeah. by simply educating people. We have the choices, so now, whether it's from what you eat, whether it's from ensuring that our nervous system is firing at 100%, we have these choices to dictate how our health goes. Mm -hmm. So that is my long and beautiful answer. I love it. <laughs> because I just get so passionate about it because yeah. it's, it's, it's just beautiful. So great, I love that. Yeah. I could feel that right, right away when I first met you. Um, oh, right, yeah, when you. you walk in the door. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you have your own questions for Dr. Susan yeah. or Dr. Madan, um, who's not here, but he should be someday. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, that would be awesome. You can write it in the comments, and I will make sure to get those questions answered for you. Or we have our Coffee and Conversations event here um, in two weeks. Yep. Friday, May 13th, we're going to be here from 10 to 11. So Yay. excited. And we're so excited. We'll have coffee and tea and, and some treats, and we'll just hang out, gather here at this location in Bee Cave for um, some conversation and any questions you might have or if you want to see this beautiful office space. So, I love that, and yeah. getting to like touch on all this stuff, especially like pregnant mamas yes. and things like that, and how much carbon. I'm just very excited for that. So come on, up. yeah, yeah come and join us, us yeah. and uh, just have a casual conversation, and uh, we will see you in a couple weeks. Sounds great. Bye. Bye.